Hello, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, continuing from our previous example, we've looked at withdrawing a specific amount from our bank account um, class in our bank account property. So we've got our balance set to uh, 10.5. Now, in this example, we're going to be um, depositing money into our account. So let's go ahead and set this back to zero. Um, and let's go down and um, we'll slightly modify this. I'm going to put a break here just so it looks a bit better. And if you haven't watched the previous tutorials, go back and watch them because we do this by, we're learning basically um, object oriented programming by example. So the example is a bank account class where we can um, assign uh, a new bank account to a variable and we can do things like withdraw, deposit money and things like that. So let's get rid of this withdraw line and let's um, start to create a new um, uh, method that's going to allow us to deposit money in. So public function deposit and then here we can just call the amount uh, the variable amount once again. Um, now there's no really there's no real um, limit we need to check on this because you know the the, the um, the person's free to deposit as many as much money as they want into their bank account generally. So all we need to do here is say this balance, remember, and then we need to say um, equals this balance plus amount. So we're starting balance it, uh, out with zero, so our balance is zero. With this deposit method, we're taking in an amount with an argument here, and we're adding it to our current balance. So let's go down and check that this works. So um, we're echoing our, we're displaying our balance here, and we are updating our balance in here. So again, we use Alex, and then we say deposit, and we can deposit an amount. So I'm going to deposit, let's say, a thousand pound into my bank account. So I'm depositing a thousand and then I'm displaying my balance. So um, let's get rid of this line first of all and see what, we, uh, what we're uh, left with. So balance zero. So now let's come into our code and uncomment this. So now we're depositing a thousand pound and our balance now changes to um, a thousand. So now what happens if we want to deposit a thousand pound and then we want to say withdraw 200 and something. So we can say withdraw. 245 for example so you can already see that this is such an easy way once you've got your correct structure set up to do specific things with your class so we, we're modifying the property values so let's come in and refresh you can see it's changed to 755 so we've taken 245 off of the balance Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating a new instance of uh, this bank account class, but in another variable name. And this is going to allow us to have individual values for each, um, each class that we uh, initiate, if you like. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of this first of all, and get rid of this so we can uh, write it out in a moment. So Alex equals new bank account. So what happens if I want to say Billy equals new bank account? Well, let's go ahead to our page and refresh and test our code. You can see that no error has appeared. So we're, what we're essentially allowed to do is set two different variables with using the same class. So we're using the same uh, values, but for two different, well, we're, we're using two different value, uh, classes for two different users. Um, and this allows us to have unique property values for each uh, each time we initiate it. So Alex will have his own balance and Billy will have his own balance. So let's go ahead and test this out. So I'm going to say Alex deposit and we're going to deposit say £100 into our bank account. Now I'm going to say Billy deposit and Billy might deposit say um, I don't know uh, £14 or £15 into his bank account. Now what we need to establish is whether these two values now change. We've only declared one balance up here, but because we're using two instances of this class, the values can be unique to each user. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, this uh, next uh, stage will demonstrate it. So let's go ahead and refresh and see if everything's okay. Yep, everything seems okay. So let's echo out Alex uh, display 
balance. And remember, this is a uh, method, so we are using our um, parentheses at the end. So let's echo our Alex display balance. Okay, so balance uh, 100. So I've deposited 100 pound into my bank account using this deposit method, and my balance is displayed as 100. So now what happens if we say Billy and change this? Well, you can see that the balance is only 15. So you can see that even though we've only got one um, class called bank account, we're able to use it for different users. So let's just uh, echo out both. So we um, we can see this. So now we're going to echo Billy display balance. So we've got two different balances, £100 and £15. This, re this corresponds to Alex and Billy. So, so you can see that we have two different values, um, two different property values, so balance is different for both users, even though we've only got one class. So you can really start to see how this can be useful in shortening the amount of code that you're going to have to write when you use object-oriented programming in PHP. So let's go ahead and just add a few more things in here. So I'm going to say Alex deposit 100, Billy deposit 15. Now down here I'm going to say Alex withdraw um, 150, which is not going to let us. And then I'm going to say uh, Billy withdraw, and I'm going to say, um, we'll just say 250 for example. So let's go back to our page, refresh. So we've got a not enough money um, come up for Alex, but the balance for Billy here has been changed. I know this looks a bit odd at the moment, I haven't structured it out uh, with regards to output very well, but you can see how that this value has changed for Billy, but the value has not changed for Alex because there's not enough money, and we've been given that error message uh, through the method up here when we uh, don't have enough money in our account. So let's just go ahead and change this to something like 98. And when we refresh, you see that the balances change. Again, we've got two for Alex now because we've withdrawn £98 out of £100 and £12.5 for Billy because we've withdrawn um, £2.50 from our original balance of £15.